Welcome to the New York Athletic Club for the Race for Ace, stop number four, alongside the World Players of Handball. My name is Dave Vincent, and our broadcast uh, partner for this match, Anthony Colesto. Anthony, welcome to Thank this you. round of 16 action with Luis Moreno from Tucson, Arizona, Nick Christopher Nahornia living in the LaGrange. Is that where he's at? So, LaGrange, Illinois. They get warmed up for this match. Is that a Referee field? is Timothy Gonzalez, one of the greatest outdoor players in our game today. So he will be one of the, the, the best outdoor players probably before his career ends. But before that happens, we're going to catch this pretty good battle here. This battle. You said now Inside Scoop has Nahorniak with a little bit of a, a flu bug or an injury an or injury something. On his knee. He was, I was talking to him a little earlier, but as the you progress through a tournament, I feel that the adrenaline just overtakes those little aches and pains away. And I'm sure you know that. You've played through many injuries before. And Nick said he's just going to play his game and see where it takes him, you know. And hopefully return Luis's serve is what's <laughs> made. That's where it all starts, trying to get that amazing serve that Luis Moreno has. Back. And he does so many different tricks from different positions in that server's box. He'll stand dead center, go behind himself, in front of himself, wrinkle it both ways. And then when he gets really confident, he'll move over to the left side or the right side. And then you really don't know what he's going to do from that angle. He has a lot of no-look head fakes. Likes to incorporate serving left-handed now when he's hopping with both hands left-handed. Uh, he's now Randall into the Z the serve. serve. And it, it's just pretty amazing what, what Luis is doing. And these guys that have played alongside and against or watched on the live broadcast are just just kind of hoping they can get some of these serves back. We'll see how Luis starts out when he gets that serve. I believe he'll be up in the box first. That's one thing I've, I've watched and noticed even playing him is the, his ability to keep you off balance. Um, it just doesn't, he doesn't allow you to be comfortable on the court because of his serve. And that can be a big issue for most players if you're not used to the hop. You know, he'll just keep you off balance and it sets him up for a shot. So we'll see how this game pans out. Let it, let it speak for itself. Yeah, I don't like well, we're just about ready to get back ready? onto the, the action here. Luis Moreno wearing the green shirt. Tucson, Arizona, originally from Hermosillo, Mexico, Sonora. And uh, Nick Nahorniak coming in from Illinois here. Nick was a qualifier loser. He did for sure when he lost to Luis Cordoba earlier today, and now he this. goes into this round of 16, guaranteed that he will I'll get a little this. bit of cash no matter what happens, win or lose. It's always incentive. It's always a good incentive. These two players are no stranger to each other, as you recall, in that, I believe, 2011 Ready? Collegiate World Championship Score they zero, played in the finals. Yep, that was a did. tournament that you decided not to attend on Sunday, but was a great tournament nonetheless. Short, short. We have one short. Do we have lines judges for this match? I believe there are lines Second judges. Second serve. That was a quick return of serve, flat rollout from Nikolai Nahorniak, and we are in play here in New York at the Score Historic zero, Athletic zero, Club. Zero. Nice serve and nice return. There's a quick side out. You know Score that's zero, one thing, serve zero. That's one thing Nikolai's going to have to do this game Score. is shoot the ball when he has the opportunity because yeah. when he is on shooting and he's in a groove, he plays much better. But if you keep him off balance and he's skipping his shots, he's going to struggle a little bit here with Luis. No, Luis has to feel frustrated here. He just served an ace over the line. Referee called it a short. Luis asked for an appeal, and they have... A one minute break as we try to figure out what that call is going to be. Obviously, the ball was good by about two or three inches. Let's go ahead and start. I'll, I'll, I'll put him on there. I don't know who's there. Sorry. I don't know who's there. You got two serves. Go ahead. Play it over. Two serves. Zero serve, zero. I believe the line judges were split. Short. Referee's giving him two serves. Second Give serve. Extra edge. That's another yeah. flat roll from the guy that supposedly has a, a bad knee, Nikolai Nahorniak. 
Zero serve zero. It's one thing you have to do against Nico is keep it off the back wall because he's yeah, very we played though. deadly. We got two serves. Off the serve. Or off the back wall, excuse me. Yeah. That's why he's called the natural, that beautiful left-handed natural zero, power zero, zero. kill to the corner. Zero to zero. There's that head fake to the right, serve to the left deal that we discussed earlier. He, he, he plays into that though. He'll Point serve to right, server. right, right, and then come left with a, with a hard one. And it's different that he's actually serving to the left for well, start. Usually he goes zero. hard right, and then he'll come back and put a little reverse on it down the left. Moreno has one, Nikolai has zero. You see the Edel handball, go play handball scoreboard. Nikolai's also got this, and you've played him a few times too, he's got this hidden power thing that looks like he's not hitting the ball hard. His technique but it's just is really what you can, where he generates all his power from. Because if you really Scores watch him, one he's so zero. fundamentally sound in a lot of his, his back wall shots, his side wall. He lets, his, lets the ball drop, he's patient. Um, but as he gets tired and you like playing Luis, you, you find yourself to be off balance. You find yourself Scores two running zero. more than you want to. And so we'll see how this plays out. Short. It was close. Second serve. It's a one game match at 25, win by two, halftime 15. Point to the server. Dave, do you know the last time these two had played each other? Well, I, I do believe it was 2011 at that World Collegiate Doubles Final in uh, Tempe, Arizona. Now, I could be wrong on that, but that's just the last time I recall. Could be right. Probably are right, knowing you. That ball just hopped away from Luis. Tricked just a little bit. Side out. Zero serves three. Luis Moreno has three. Zero for Nikolai. Point now he has a point. Nikolai at one to three. One serves three. Back when we play Short. back when we play back home, he Second hits serve. that ball. We use a different ball, the twenty one ball, unfortunately. Um, Second serve. But he hits that left serve and he cracks out about eight or nine a game with it. Now, I don't know if the ball's a little different on him or he's just a little more nervous and, and everything's right. getting to him, but if he can get his serve going down the left and find that left crack, it, again, it could change the game, one. but we'll see how, how it plays. Well, it's early, and sometimes a player just has to get into the groove. I, I don't think that there will be any difference between the ball that he plays with at home or here. I think you'll find it if he one. has it. But the, the problem is getting into the service box against Luis is just so hard to do. And we've seen that in previous tournaments with everybody. And That's a reverse right there. Luis hits down that line, one. doesn't even touch the side wall, flattens out, and he gets a free ace out of it. Both these players are fundamental, although you would have to say that Moreno is a little bit more creative. Very, very more creative. Uh, Nikolai, Nikolai plays a very Blake Forest style game, and even though he's went away from that high wrap a lot. I mean, he still does that if you notice when he's off balance. He doesn't really go for an aggressive shot. He'll throw it up and want that rally, Scores that Blake Forest five. style of handball. Um, and that, at this level, I don't know if it's the greatest tactic, but it is, it is what it is. Everyone has their own style, and if it works, it works. So. Scores two, serves five. That's a reverse. It actually looked like the ball slowed down a, a lot <laughs> when you hit that. It's funny, this court is actually really dead. The floor is five serves two. The boards and the floor are really dead. The front wall is dead. These guys are hitting the ball so hard, it almost doesn't look like it's dead. These could be two of the hardest hitters. It's a beautiful shot right ball. there. If you learn that at Lake Forest, I might want to go there and train. Yeah. Scores two serves five. Get a hold of. Somebody Short. that can help. Second serve. Admission advisor. 
take my SAT test. I don't know. I'm reaching here, but no, it's okay. That works. SAT, SAT, it's something. Another great shot right there from No Horniak. Point to the server. A little different call. I don't know how else score you score three, a point, seven, but five. three to five. Sure. Well, you have to remember now. Tim, Timbo is from the outdoor game, and a lot of the parks will play rally scoring. So, the point could be to the person that's not serving, return returning the ball. So you kind of get into a rhythm of saying the point is to the return, Turner. or however he's going to say it. But this time he's saying the point to the server. Scores five serving three. He, that's the only thing he should be saying if he is calling. The score. Short. Second serve. is the WPH race for eight, New York City, at the historic New York Athletic Club. Wow. That Tough was a shot from the <laughs> shoulder. Underhand, left-handed punch. Scores fist. three, serving five. Now, Horniak was talking about Worried about getting Luis Breno served back before we talked to him. Scores four, seven, five. Just before this match started, but really Luis is having troubles returning next serve. And that's going to be a huge setup. Luis going to go to the back down the. I thought he was going to go to the right, right and down to the left. That could just be nerves, though, playing a, ooh, playing a part. Scores Nic Nicolai five, wanted five. to play Luis, though, because he was. He was the only person that he actually could say he knew his game, you know, at least somewhat. But I don't know when the last time they played was. And you said the, the finals of the Tempe, but Luis has gotten a hundred times better since then. You Scores know, just five, playing at this high five. level. So. A little off balance shot from Luis there. Possibly rushing his shots. Scores five seven five. Five five. Over over. So like a, he should have shot the ball down the left there. Nikolai was right behind him on the right with Luis's reverse and power. Scores five seven five. Would, would be able to get it. Should be a setup for Nick. Great three wall pass there. Nikolai looks really strong Scores here six, early seven, on. Five. Six to five is the score. Short. Nick really throwing his body Second into that serve. serve. If you watch on that on that serve, he came up a little light on his on his feet because I don't know if he's trying to favor his other leg rather than his bad knee. Huge overhit from Nikolai Nahorniak and Moreno hits it right into the ground. Now seven to five with Nahorniak in the lead. Score seven serving five. That's one thing I didn't know coming into this game. I didn't know if. Nikolai would be able to keep up with the pace and keep up with the speed that Luis has, you know, on retrieving five, the seven, shots seven. and everything. But so far, he's hanging in there pretty well. I'm thoroughly impressed. Luis looks a little flat right now, but he's like that. Sometimes he'll be a slow starter and then dominate later, and then sometimes he starts fast right. and is unstoppable in every round. Yeah, that's one thing you can't let Luis do. And so far, Nick's doing a good job of keeping himself in this game. If Luis gets a big lead on you, he can run eight or nine points off just like that. Like Dermid said um, in Houston, you know, that's a tough thing playing Luis. You, he gets in the box, and next thing you know, there's six points on the scoreboard already, and you haven't even touched the ball. So tip your hat to Nick right now. But You go away from playing your own game into playing a game of let's see if I can score so I don't look like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was my issue earlier today, so... 
You're watching the WPH Race for 8, streaming live at raceforeight.com as Luis Moreno steps in here during this Nick Lina Horniak timeout. Nick up 7 to 5. As you can see on the Edel Go Play Handball scoreboard, they're at edelhandball.com. Since you're on the internet, you have a little break. Might want to flip it up there and take a look at what is going on with Edel Handball, E D T L handball.com. Time in. They have gloves, balls, everything, right? You name it. Mm -hmm. Eye guards. Pretty amazing eye guards, actually. Score six. Probably the best seven. I've ever seen. Six or seven. Short. Second serve. Luis is chewing gum in there while he's playing. He's keeping him relaxed, giving him some moisture in the mold. I think he's just trying to stay warm. These courts are wow. frozen. Double fault for Luis Moreno. Side out. Nikolina Horniak back in. Score seven serving six. It's a rare sight from him. Nick actually played that ball right, I think. Uh, he thought Luis was going to go to that left corner kill, and Luis Sharper. pulls it back seven around seven. him. I agree. Sensing that the big guy was coming in. That's a great serve there. Terrible shot again from Luis. Oh. Luis overhits that ball. A skinny V. He overhits it, trying to clip the sidewall low. Six, seven, seven. That can be a problem with Luis though, sometimes, is overhitting the ball because he's so much power on his shots. We can leave people with some pretty nice setups. You're listening Six, to the seven, voice seven. of the giant killer, Anthony Celesto. Six to seven from Wisconsin. Luis hits that ball and gets out of the way so Nick can hit a flat kill. Luis just looks out of sorts. Nick looks like Score he's hanging seven, in there. Seven, six. seven to six. Oh, you see a lob serve coming from Nick. And it wasn't a good one. Ooh, boy, that hurts. And Nick has a smile on his face. That smile is... He knows he missed it. <laughs> he knows he missed his serve, and that's why he's smiling. He now both players Seven, are serving six. chirping back and forth with each other here, but Nick knew he had an incredibly terrible serve right there, and Luis is going to lay into it and roll it out, but instead Luis hits him with it. Well, anything that comes off the wall short of the back wall, it, it's, it's over. Score six serving seven. Let's see if Luis can turn it up a notch here. That's a good serve One, right two, there. Seven. That ball was a deep crack behind Score the dotted seven, line. Serving seven. They're all together at seven. When Luis is feeling it, he won't serve two balls in a row to the same spot. He'll actually start throwing the ball around. I was surprised there after that crack that he stayed over on that left side because most of us would just stay there until we got a bad Make return, a but you know, Luis, when he's really feeling good, will start throwing that ball off to the right and left, break it both different Score ways, seven, all different seven, ways. Seven. And it's just really impossible to read anything that he's doing. Well, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I went back to Second earlier. Like he just keeps you so off balance. Like, if he gets on a hot streak, it's so tough to keep going, keep playing against him. You almost got to burn a timeout just to cool him off a little bit. Score is eight, serving seven. Now, Dave, Luis, Luis really hasn't been beaten in recent games or matches. Is there a, is there a way to beat him? <laughs> Scores nine, serving seven. I believe you can you can take down Luis, but it's really not necessarily what you're doing to him. It's what's going on in his own head. Because the times that he has not won, I don't believe he went into the tournament focused. And you can see there's a difference Score here. He's seven, just not seven, the same guy not right at this Luis moment. As he normally is. But I think he can turn it on and off. But how do you beat Luis? First of all, you have to take the ball away from shots like that where he has power and he can really step into it. Luis is incredibly talented and gifted when it comes to being creative on the court, but you don't want to give him setups. He has really strong legs. Nice. And see, he, he gave Nikolai multiple chances there. He's got to put it away right away. Take away his offense. Score is set Though nine, I do believe Luis seven. has amazing defense. 
he's not going to hit those crazy rollouts and hops in the rally and all that stuff that he does if you give him a ceiling ball, right? Or if you, you know, even lobbying the serve gives you a better opportunity, I, I think. He doesn't get fooled on hop serves either, so to beat him, I think you have to slow your game down. Right, and that's what Nikolai went to, I think, or at least attempted well, to go to. That's what Alan Garner does. Slows the game down. He yeah. slows nice the game down against Luis. That's what left. Dave Chapman did to get some of those wins against Luis before he retired that, that second time. I think you can see here with Nick that, yeah, there is power being used in the middle of the rally when you want to close it out, but he's not starting with all that power. power. Mm -hmm. Score is nine, serving seven. He does have a good power serve. So he's just trying to get a weak return from Luis. He's got to do something different. Different than that, cut, you know, that shot back down the middle. If he put it down the right or used his corners on that fly kill, Score first strike seven, is always nine. most important against players like this. Two, two, two. It actually looked like he got it. Score is eight, serving nine. Score is eight, plays nine. Short, second serve. It's a big setup for Nick. Tough. Perfect shot right there from Nahorniak, left corner kill. Did you see where he took that ball from? Yeah, right at mid Score is nine, yeah, serving mid eight. Mid chest, mid shoulder. I don't know what the heck you want to call it. Mid waist area. Mm -hmm. Or as Sean Lenning calls that, uh, Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And then Nick takes that shot, tries to go one inch high and skips it in. Now Luis back into the box. Score is eight, serving nine. Eight to nine is the score here. It's a one game match to 25. Round of 16 action between Moreno and Nikolai Nahorniak. And Nick said before the match started that I know Luis's game. Yeah, and he wanted to play him. But he knew from the beginning he would have to get Luis's serve, serve back. Back. And So far, Luis hasn't had great serves. Score is so nine, serving nine. Altogether at nine. Short. Luis going Second with the reverse serve. right down the middle. Luis will probably not do it in this tournament, but he has been working on a left-handed power serve that is really, truly remarkable. I don't think he has enough confidence yet with it in a tournament like this, but uh, reversing and his natural hook with his left, but putting it into just great locations. Well, the the control nine, by both nine. these guys is unreal, to be honest with you. I've recently played Luis in a tournament in Denver, and just the control he has on the ball, and then, and then Nikolai himself, his ceiling game might be as good as anyone's. He just has great control. So, well, he just controlled that ball with a power 75 kill. mile per hour left right corner kill with Scores the left hand. Ten serving nine. That's ten to nine. Nick up. That's one of his favorite shots. Watching him play and even playing against him, he loves to bring the ball back across his body and shoot to the right corner with his off hand or left hand, I should say. Well, I think Nick's going for those right shots, but. He's being aggressive up there. A lot of other players Scores will nine, serving ten. hit that ball about six feet <laughs> off the right wall. And yeah, I mean he's actually up. going for those elite corner kills. He's missed a few of them here, though. And that's the difference why Luis Point is hanging seven. in, because I think Nick could have a lead of about 14 to 6 if he would have Scores completed ten, some of those kills. Ten. We're all together at 10, though. Nice serve hop into the wall. is a game I don't know if you want to play with him. The ceiling game. Very just controls the ball. It's a, almost like playing with Dave Chapman. Score is 10, serving 10. Well, I played Dave Chapman. He didn't hit one ceiling shot. He would serve a lob. I overhit it. He took off the back wall and hit it one inch high. Well, that, so that I don't that think you need it. to that hit a, it to you too. You don't need to hit a ceiling shot when you got that going for you. Nikolai kicks Luis's ball up front. 
and looks at himself in the reflection of the glass Score as he ten, walks back. Ten. ten to ten. He says I'm a altogether. good guy. <laughs> <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> Gives him more time to look at himself on the. See, usually Nick will shoot that ball, and I don't know if he's a little bit tired. Well, I think he found something up, up top here. Against Luis. As I said earlier, the, the one formula I believe you could beat Luis on Slowly is this right down. here. He certainly is not going to hit a kill shot from up there. He's going to do that. Ooh. And he hits a mouse off the front wall. Nick goes to an unorthodox slide and that bang that knee that he already had banged up earlier. Big smile on his Score face. Score is though. 10, serving 10. He's an aspiring dental hygienist. Short, short. Second serve. Wow. Over. Over. <laughs> he called over, but Nick didn't want it. Scores 10, serving 10. We're still all tied up. Do you think he could have got that? Yeah, I think so. Oh. That's keeping you off balance right there. Point to Ball the server. six inches to the right. Score is 11, serving 10. I think it's funny in the way handball is here. I'm not sure I'm even going to follow myself about what I'm going to say, but we call a natural hook when you go underneath the ball with your right hand or your left hand and you naturally hit the ball but the guys that are in the elite eight right now all hit reverses as their natural mm -hmm. see Luis hits that reverse that's a natural movement for him score is 10 for everybody else 11. but the elite eight and uh, a natural would be going underneath these guys they score. go all over the top yeah it's an it keeps the ball Second down serve. you know and the, as you progressively get better at this game and you see when you play these top guys that's what it takes to to keep the ball down, especially at the speed that you're hitting. You know, if you can put a natural on a ball, it's going to stay up and really Point give the other the person server. possibly an opportunity, whereas the reverse will pull it. Score is 11, serves 11. 11 to 11, Nikolai. He's holding his own. Shot draw, drawing the ball down the wall, driving it. Scores 12, serves 11. And you see Luis slap his hand. Yeah. You know, that, that's a sign of something. A little emotional there, and he gets a nice crack serve. Second serve, second serve, sorry. Luis is now starting to get a little more emotional. After Nikolai appealed that, Luis let out a lot of air, like, what are you doing? That's ridiculous. So, so it wasn't close. It's a tough angle to, for us to see. I was unable to see it, but it looked live like it was good. But I guess, you know, those line judges have a better angle than we do down there. Luis just flips that ball up. Nick could have taken that off the back wall. Dead center Point doesn't matter, though. Gets another point. Now he slowly goes over, grabs that ball. He takes his time. Getting close to halftime here. 13, serves 11. 13 to 11 with Nikolai Nahorniak here trying to pull an upset in the first round. He lost in his qualifier, qualifier final. I watched that match and Luis Cordova played Side phenomenal. Out. So tip your hat to Luis Cordova. He played a great, great game there. He was doing Scores all the 11, fly killing 13. and shooting and hard serve. He was playing a very well game. hits that ball into the ground. A couple shots before, I don't know if it was who could hit the ball harder there or if was it, you know, one of those things. I always tell Score people it's not 13, how hard you can hit the 11. ball, it's just how you can control it. But sometimes you, your emotions take over, your adrenaline's gone, you're hitting the ball as hard as you can and not really thinking, ooh. That's Point another one of those. Server. 
those serves that you were talking about earlier, the hitting that left Scores crack. He's going over the top 11. of the ball as a reverse. So that ball hits that side wall and does a little bit of tricks, slides a little bit before it slides before it cracks out. One of those trick slide crack out serves. Nick just a fraction off of being able to exert Maybe himself balls. and actually get that ball back. Actually, I believe that was gettable. 11 serves 14. That's so why the way he, how hard these guys hit it, the penny ball is pretty much gettable unless it's a, unless it's a mouse running from the front wall. But going left to left there is a very tough shot, and it's, it's even difficult for a lefty to do. But Nick does that shot extremely well. That's a nice shot right there, Nick. Although it's dug out by Luis Moreno, Nick. It's still much. hanging up there. That ball died off the front wall. That's one of those bad boards. Actually, bad front wall, bad board. Bad board. Mm -hmm. Luis hits a soft shot. It actually died immediately. Scores 12, serves 14. Oh. Point to the server. It's amazing, reversed. But you can read it from this angle. Unfortunately, Scores you can't, can't line up like this 14. if you're returning Luis a serve. That's what makes him so difficult to play because he covers his sh serve so well. But you don't know if you're going to the right or to the left. And then he puts six inches of hop on it both ways. Very difficult. See Nick chuckle at what Luis said. Scores 13, serves 14. 13 to 14 now. Luis on a two point run. Score. That's another reverse. Second serve. Luis tries to double bounce the back wall with that reverse down the left. Does the same on the right. I like that nice return from Nick. Great return. Missed his pass there. Luis was talking about trying to get more room for his shot. He almost clotheslined Nick right before he flat killed that ball in the right corner. Scores 14, serving 13. 14, 13. Let's see if Nick can go into half with the lead. And he does. Half time. It's a great serve. It caught that left wall and cracked out. Well, we're going to take a real quick break as well here. But we might have to wait a couple minutes before our producer comes back to the to the desk. 15 to 13 is the score with Nick up at halftime, which is somewhat surprising. I mean, I don't think we thought that would happen. Maybe now you play Nick a little bit more. I play Luis all the time in Tucson, Arizona. So I know how hot he has been back back home. But it, it's just really apparent after the first three or four shots that he was flat. And, uh, and he's losing here as we go into halftime at 15 to 13. We're going to take a uh, quick break. We'll be back in about two minutes. Stay here for Anthony Celesto, Dave Vincent. This is a round of 16 match here at racerate.com.
play will resume. Nikolai has the ready? serve. Score is 15, serving 13. You heard that score there from referee Timbo Gonzalez, 15 to 13, 13 here, just as we come back from halftime. That was two bounces. Two, two, two. Luis finally lets Nikolai know that that was two, now 16 Score to 13. Score 16, serving 13. And this can, be a, this can be a tough position for the retriever at this point. If you're, if you're coming Short. in down Second serve. points, and the, the server has the ball, and he just goes on a three or four point run, you're down. You were down two at, at halftime, and then you go down another five. That, that can be a big punch to the stomach. So yeah, not too many people can score five straight points off two. Luis, but Nick has done it already here. I agree. In this, in this match. And you're right, if you Scores can come out 13, of halftime and 16. maybe get two or three after you already got two prior, it, you know, and then you come in and, and start scoring maybe another one of these long runs, you, you put Luis in a terrible situation. 13, 7, 16. And news, news just in, Dave Fink had beat Mike Schneider 25 to three in the first round of 16. That means that Dave Fink will play the winner of Armando Ortiz and Andy Nett. One of those, one the of winner players. of those guys. Mm -hmm. And the winner of this will face either Scores or 16, serving who? 13. The winner of this one. Oh, the, the winner of this one will face. I thought it was. No, no, I'm the winner just saying, of this I'm, one would I'm play asking Robbie the question as oh, I am oh, oh, stalling, oh, stalling to try to. Well, I think the winner of this one will play, I think ends up playing either Robbie McCarthy or. Yes. Scores 17, serving 13. Or Aaron, Aaron Garner. Garner, yeah. 17 to 13 now. Could be the beginning of a nice upset as Nikolai's up 17 to 13. It's a rare miss from Nick. Scores 13, serving 17. No, he scored two. You hear Luis questioning, 13, the, questioning the ref score. Short, second serve. That's one thing I've seen this this game that you normally don't see out of Luis is a lot of short serves. He's been hitting a bunch of them. Point to the server. Nice left corner kill from Luis. 14, serve 17. Point to the server. There was that serve, Dave. Tried to double bounce it before it got to the left wall coming 15, back. 15, serve 17. It's a tough shot to let go there. Luis is dangerous with that left hand. Hasn't really showed any of that danger, Point. but there, that's what happens. Luis has amazing reverse natural hooks in the middle of the rally with both hands. That one he just completely fooled Nikolai with. 16, serve 17. See Luis on a little little run here. Should be a setup. Oh, did you see that? He didn't turn his feet there, Dave. Should be a setup from Nikolai. It is. And Luis is able to convert. And there's a timeout called from Nick Line to Horniak. We're going to take a break as well. We'll be back in just a bit. Stick around. About 60 seconds for Anthony, Dave Vincent, RaceForEight.com. Score is 17, serve 17. We're back in. Nikolai was up 17 Short. to 13 and Second now finds serve. himself tied with Luis, and that's what Luis can do within just, what, a minute and a half. He was already tied with Nikolai. It's as if all that hard work that Nick had getting to this point has now been erased. Now Luis up 18 to 17. 
18, serve 17. Not too good of a serve from Luis there, putting it off the back wall for Nikolai. 17, serves 18. I like that serve. Nick kind of gives you this little, kind of a, a quiet screen on that serve. He backs himself over to that left wall about three feet out. Referee 18, most likely serve, would not ever call it unless the other player chirped. I've seen plenty of those back in practice. He just can flip it up there. Luckily, Nick still in the game and almost gets that ball back to the front wall and another point now for Moreno. 19, serve 17. Short. Second serve. Ball hit him on the serve. Setting Luis up with shots. Should be a left corner kill from Luis. Goes for the pass. You see Nick favoring his knee there. Seventeen. Seventeen 19. serves nineteen. Now for those experiencing some problems at home with the live feed, we are back up, but it's on a slower Wi-Fi internet, which is something we normally never do, but that's just us just trying to bring you anything 17. that you can hear and see as we close out sure. this first opening round. Second Bonus serve. coverage of the round of 16. Uh, Verizon internet service here in the 5800 block of New York City has a system-wide outage that Point. has not only affected the New York Athletic Club, but also banks, banks and other businesses in the area. So everybody's without internet service and that really affected us because right when this match started the internet just went simply just went down so we went Short. on to a a real second serve pardon the way of saying this a real cheap wi-fi service just to get the signal out there and i know it's not clear but we apologize just the way it is mm -hmm. can't always control the deck of cards you're dealt right well this is just a bonus coverage match Time anyway that we're doing just to work out our camera angles and graphics and everything else what just to make sure that we get everything working and, and the internet went down so this is a freebie anyway Luis pulling away here towards the end of this match well, I think Nick sent a message nonetheless I agree absolutely he's played very good ball the game's not over yet so we can't talk too soon but the way it's panning out Luis might advance. There's a timeout being called here on the on the floor with Nikolai Horniak taking, I believe, his last timeout. Luis stays right in the court, warms up. That's just sort of his thing. This is the race for eight. Round of 16 action as Luis Moreno is now pulling away from Nikolai, who was up at one point. Nick was up 17 to 13, and Luis had just erased that like Score rather quickly. Is 21 serve 17. It's now 21 to 17. Moreno just scored eight straight points, and he's done it really in just one inning. Short. That ball was just under the line. Luis frustrated. I saw it short as well, but that was a great camera angle to see Do it. Do they not have lines judges? They do have line second judges. Serve. It is a second serve. It's back well set up for Luis. Just missed it. Score is 17, serves 21. He's got to find a way here. He's got to catch a couple cracks and give himself some so momentum. There you go. I thought that was a good serve. I don't know. If you want to appeal that? Well, this is what we were talking about earlier, huh? where Nick has this way of, of s leaning back into this serve here. What's 
Score is 18, serves 21. Short, second serve. It's the second serve coming. Nick going back to the wrap, wrapping game and keeping it high. Tired, not moving as well as he was. Well, first comes, <laughs> comes back into position there, gets set, and Nick hits him right in the back. It is frustrating when a player gives you a shot and then takes it away from you Scores as they 18, so mosey 21. into your shooting spot. 18 to 21. Short. Second serve. a lot of that swing and miss from these players that are 18. lunging forward trying to get to a ball they thought that might have made it to them but that's front wall being rather dead and the boards here are really dead just slightly underestimating where that ball is going to double bounce that can be a challenge for play players that play on really good courts though that expect you know they come in they know they're served it's down to a routine and they they hit it in certain spots 18. and then they get here and it doesn't work like that. Then it can really give a little, Short. can frustrate them, you know, but usually Let's the top players can just overcome that and make, make it happen for themselves. Nikolai's really actually played a good game here. He's missed some shots when he had open corner kills and that's the difference between him leading right now and, or even possibly winning already. And, you know, I think Nick goes home and says, you know, if I was just in a little better shape, it's that's all it, it takes because you can see that he's clearly oh, not as fit right now as Luis, and Luis is not breathing hard. No. But I think Nick goes home and says, well, if I Scores do want to take it to that level, I need to do 18. what Luis is doing, and that is literally be married to the gym. Sure. Exactly. Second serve. You know, a lot of that, he doesn't have as much time because of his job. He wants to be a dental hygienist, and being a dental hygienist requires a lot of office time and a lot of time under the teeth. 24 serves 18. This is um, match point, 24 to 18. Uh, and there it is, Luis yeah. takes down Nikolai Horniak in this uh, rather entertaining match here as Nick loses to Luis Moreno, 25 to 18. We have another great one coming up right around the corner as Paul Brady will go up against uh, Luis, uh, Luis Cordova on this court, I believe. That's the one that we're going to throw. No, we're going to have Nadi Alvarado and Dave Chapman on this court instead. So that's coming up next. I want you to stick around for that in uh, just a few minutes here at RaceForEight.com. I don't just wear the shirt.